it's me, Nick, the super awesome Lego and builder himself, and today I am back with yet another super awesome Lego ADU model, and this is actually, if I were to be reviewing these in chronological order, the very first ADU model I should have reviewed, but because of two stupid pieces, I couldn't make this one. I this bit one build, this one's build got delayed a long time time. So, yes, and it turns out that those two pieces I was looking for were right under my nose, the, my nose the whole time. Did I just say noses? What the heck? Anyway, and this, and, and this is a set which is the smallest of them all, which I already expressed a little bit, because as I've said earlier, we are reviewing this in series smallest to biggest. And I am sorry that this video did come a little bit late, but I really did want to review this model next, and, but those two pieces re I was really having trouble finding. So it comes with two mini figures, the ADU sniper right here, here, there you can see his print a little bit better, face print, his head's a little, angle, funny, and the in an alien soldier slash trooper slash warrior slash whatever heck the heck the box calls it. Here is his print. And here he has his weapon here and the AU sniper also has his weapon. Which is clips in and back. I've already showed you that feature, so I already showed you. Is that print? Don't know why I did that a second time. But this, isn't, this probably won't be a very long review, so yes, I know it shouldn't have taken me taken me this long to do it. But you know, takes a what takes a while for me to do do this stuff. Um, this is it. It's the ADU hover bike. Right here. These are the two pieces that I couldn't, that I was having a really hard time finding. They were just those two little sets that were, no, well, not sets, the little pieces with the round bombs. Those are really hard to find around in my room. But all in all, the bike is pretty cool. I just wanted to give it these so it could kind of hover. And the bike actually is on several joints, so you can put in a lot of cool poses while the sniper is riding it. So, the main key pose is just to tilt these down a little bit so they're like this, and then tilt it forward so it is sort of blasting itself along. And, if I just clip the guy's sniper back here and his arms forward, peg him on, um... So tricky, but there you can you can ride it and looks pretty good on it. And it has sort of a slanted grill piece. I want it to make it look similar, but not too much like the um, the Alien Unit Defender from the original Alien Conquest series. It and it has two little. Smaller lights down here I can just use to sun shine out, and one big central headlight. And this isn't really an intentional feature. This is just something that I noticed it n noticed it could do after I built it. But you can see this little pet one studded two by one by two here. Well, I figured out that you can actually peg this his weapon on top so now he has his little rotating turret thing but that was never really intentional it doesn't work that well so so it just looks a little a lot cooler if oh my gosh oh my gosh his hand literally popped off on the handlebar that is really disturbing to just peg his his gun into his hand like this so he can just hold it like usual 
peg and just like normal peg his other hand in there as so. And you can, okay, why are your hand, is your hand not getting, clipping? Clip there, and he can peg his la legs in there, but I find it a lot easier to just sort of let his legs go when you pe and peg him out like this and sort of just give it the small illusion that he's standing because it actually is allows him to elevate his gun a little bit more and so he doesn't bump quite really bump into his handle and shoot the camera there by accident so there you can You can hear my cats off screen. So just leave them like that, and that will work pretty well. You can just sort of leave them up like that. You can bend his, and you can bend these up just slightly, so sort of leave up, but I still guess we'll say leave them like there. And then you can place the alien down here and you can just be can be firing each other. And one thing I did realize when I was building that is that it the model doesn't actually have um any features. And I was like thinking about when I was building when I was finished with all of this except for those two bottom pieces if I should add one of those, I don't really know what they're called, but the little side peg pieces with the Technic studs on them that you can easily fire stuff out of. But then I realized that the very smallest Alien Conquest model, which was an alien UFO, sort of a mini thing, but I can't remember if that had a warrior or a pilot on it, it also didn't have any but flick fire missile pieces. <laughs> so, and as I said, this would be a little, a little bit shorter, but it looks like this is running very normal length. And I have pretty much covered about any, everything this set has to offer. So if, you, so if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And don't forget to smash that like button. And I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.